Hi guys, Michelle Chapman here. Keto is life. And I was actually going to make a keto taco bowl tonight. I was looking at Pinterest and saw all these cool bowls and I thought that would be a really good way to change it up for making a salad. So I was just looking at designs and stuff and I can't and I made up sort of a design of what I wanted. And then I thought, well, what am I going to put on it? I don't want to put just like regular dressing on it. So I looked up kind of a, I thought an avocado cilantro lime thing might be cool. So I looked up on uh, Pinterest and I found something, but I didn't like the mixture. So I kind of took the base ingredients and I tweaked it for myself. So I had to use um, two avocados that were really ripe. Um, two tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of olive oil, a half a cup of water. And what I did was I put all the wet in a mason jar and I, I can attach that. I can screw it into where my blender uh, goes. I don't have a food processor because I'm downsizing and so I don't have one. So I use that. If, if it's not too thick or too dry, it'll usually work. So I screwed that in and got it all emulsified and then I put in half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter tea of pepper, a quarter tea of cumin, and an eighth of a tea of garlic powder. I didn't add all my water at first. I added like a quarter cup just to get it emulsified. You gotta kinda jab it with a spoon and stuff. But then um, as I was putting in my spices, I put the other half or the other quarter cup and got that really good and mixed. You have to kind of get the spoon in there, work it around. So it tastes pretty good. It's a little limey, I think, but it, it tastes pretty good. The um, macros on it, now the website that I got it from had these crazy non-keto macros, and I was like, really? That does not look correct. And this is the thing, you know, y'all are lazy and don't want to do the macros and don't want to add the numbers up. But the thing is, they can vary so dramatically from what's listed that you really do need to do that. So rather than just guess at what an avocado is, I take the flesh out and I weigh it. So of two avocados, I take the seed out, I take the skin off, and I weigh what I'm going to actually eat. And it came out to 248 grams of actual avocado. I use that. And then you kind of have to, you know, you've got to keep track of everything that you put into that mixture. Excuse me. So what I came up with as macros for the entire thing was 642. Now this is for the whole uh, canister. 642 calories, 64 fat, five protein, and 6.5 net carbs. And then what you have to do is, what I had to figure out was, how many servings are in this? Because it's homemade, and a serving is two tablespoons, so how do you figure that out, you know? So I had to do a little bit of algebra, no, a little bit of subtraction. So you take the canister, whatever canister you used, and hopefully you have another just like it. Mine were mason jars, those green ones. I have a few of those. So I took one of those that didn't have anything in it and weighed it, and then took the one I used, weighed that, subtracted the difference. That's what's contained in the mason jar. So you have that number. So mine was 642 minus 261, so there was 381 grams of liquid dressing in the um, mason jar. Two tablespoons is a serving. One tablespoon is generally 14 grams, so two is 28 grams. That's a serving. So how many servings is going to be in 381 grams? So you divide 28 grams into 381 grams. That is a serving into your total liquid. That comes out with about 13 servings. So what do you do then? Damn, I got all these numbers. What the hell do I do? 13 servings. So you've got your macros from adding everything up once you get all the totals for each individual ingredient. And what you do is you divide those 
by 13. It's more math. So buy a calculator. <laughs> 642 calories divided by 13 means that two tablespoon serving is going to be 50 calories. It's going to be 5 fat, 0.4 protein, and 0.5 carbs per serving. That's two tablespoons of this dressing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for an avocado dressing. And that's net carbs. So I just wanted to let y'all know that because I know even for me, you know, being that I'm seasoned at doing this and kind of understand, you know, how to figure it out, I know a lot of y'all have problems with that. And a lot of y'all don't want to do it. So, I mean, you're, you know, taking your health in your own hands by, by using somebody else's macros. And I think that it's really good to learn how to do these. Um, even if it takes some time, you know, you're going to screw up. But people ask me all the time, I post my food. They say, what's the macros on that? And as I explained before, macros are individual because I'm not cooking with the same stuff that y'all are cooking with. Y'all are using ingredients maybe from the Midwest or the West Coast or Canada or Germany. Could have completely different measurements and serving sizes and just contents in general. So, you know, having your macros um, calculated by you may let you know that what you're eating is what you're eating, you know, uh, because this website, which I will not name, says that, you know, each serving of this is like 0.1 uh, carbs, which is a lie. And I don't know, maybe she was using really tiny avocados. Mine were regular size. I mean, you know... So I don't know, or maybe she just put macros on there and didn't really weigh or measure anything. Uh, that's what it looked like to me, which is why I went, hmm, that doesn't look right, you know? So make sure that you take responsibility for your own macros. Don't always rely on somebody else. So um, that was all I wanted to say today. I love y'all, and make sure you, uh, you know, have a look at my YouTube. Check out my Pinterest. I'm really buffing it up and I'm trying to kind of spread everything out so that you don't have to look through just recipes. I'm trying to um, get them divided up into breakfast and condiments and you know I'm trying some new condiments now. I actually got my mom in the past two days to agree to try keto. Um, she has diverticulitis, joint pain, that crippling arthritis, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to force her into it because she's really kind of stuck on grains. And last night I made her watch What's Up With Wheat, I think it's called, on Netflix. Um, What's With Wheat or something like that. And look, after that she changed her tune. She was all like, well, I guess I, I'm just going to have to stop eating grains. I said, well, maybe you could back down a little, you know? She only weighs about 100 pounds, so she's, she's already tiny. She doesn't need weight loss. In fact, she needs weight gain. But I really think that she has a wheat intolerance. She's constantly got post-nasal drip, She's got joint pain. She's got a lot of things that are, in, are indicative of wheat intolerance, gluten intolerance. And I want to see in the next couple weeks if she backs off of cereal and bread and bagels and scones and all those things she eats all day long. If she gets any relief uh, because she's just in constant pain. So I'll let y'all know. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye.